Part 5 Installing Chem Resin Backsplashes The instructions in this demonstration are basic guides and are not intended to cover all situations that may arise in the installation process. There will be specific conditions for each project which will need to be managed as they occur. Kiwani Chem Resin Backsplashes come from the factory as ordered and ready for installation. To install backsplashes, you will need the following tools and hardware. We recommend a carpenter's level, leveling shims, two buckets with water and cloths, putty knife, two part epoxy cement, tubes of silicone, and proper safety equipment. The installation manual, which can be downloaded from kiwani.com, should be read carefully before beginning the installation. Prior to installation, all backsplashes should be pre-fitted to ensure they have the correct configuration and measurements. Drawings included with chem resin should be reviewed and compared to the shop drawings to confirm all dimensions are correct. Each backsplash has a label that shows its part number that matches the numbered logic shown on the drawings. After making sure the backsplashes have the correct configuration and measurements, they are ready to be installed. Prepare the epoxy cement. The cement comes in two parts, A and B. Mix the two parts half and half on a smooth, disposable surface and use the mixture as quickly as possible. If the cement isn't used within 15 to 20 minutes, the mixture will harden and be wasted. Apply the epoxy cement to the lower saw edge of the backsplash visible to the user and to the edge that is going to be glued to any adjacent backsplashes. When installing backsplashes that go to the end of an elevation, visible to the user, they must be flush with the beveled edge of the corresponding surface, not over or even with this edge. If the wall is not square, the backsplash can be flexed slightly so that it takes the shape of the wall and covers any space between the wall and the corresponding work surfaces. Install all backsplash joints in line with the worktop joints or as shown on the drawings. Once the splashes are in place, excess cement will be pressed out of the sides. Use a putty knife to remove this excess and reapply it to the next splash. After finishing a joint on a backsplash, it should be cleaned with a damp cloth. Be sure to have a cloth with a bucket of dirty water and a cloth with a bucket of clean water to clean the epoxy residue. Constantly change the water so that the surfaces are clean when dry. Chem resin backsplashes cannot be sanded. Do not allow the epoxy cement to remain on any visible surface. The surface must be completely clean.